Are you looking to bring some new energy to your life in the new year? Gemstones, crystals, semi-precious stones have been valued for thousands of years as decorations, as jewelry, but now more and more people are recognize them, recognizing them for their therapeutic and healing effects. Dr. Ed La Madrid, he is a wellness and acupuncture expert, joining us now to talk about this. And you know, more and more people are starting to talk about the energy and, and the therapeutic value, but we were talking about it in the commercial break. This has been around for thousands of for years. For thousands of years. Stones have been known to have very sacred qualities. And for some, some gemstones have healing properties. Interesting. And there are very specific things that you can garner from different types of gems and stones. So let's go ahead and start here. So these are some of the most common ones that if you were going to pick and choose, these would be the ones I would suggest. So the first one is quartz. Quartz has been around for a long time. It's an energy amplifier. So people wear it to just kind of give themselves a boost. It also helps to clear the mind a little bit. Um, I wouldn't suggest having this in like a child's room because okay. it would amp them up. Oh, well. interesting. Okay. But, but for, for adults, the mommy who really needs the energy? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, we're going to talk about rose quartz. Rose quartz is the stone of unconditional love. Now, this is not a stone that's going to get you a date on Friday night. Okay, darn. But this is a stone that's going to make you more lovable. So it's going to bring up feelings of empathy and compassion in you so that other people will recognize that. And is that you. something you'd want to have in your home or around your neck? Absolutely, or both. All of the, all of the above. And okay. for like a tense home, home life, yeah. this is actually a good stone. So like oh. this stone is actually cut out to put a candle in. I see. Yeah, that'd be a nice Valentine's gift too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, next we have amethyst. So amethyst is known as the intuition stone. It helps to develop our intuition, but historically this stone has been used to prevent hangovers. Oh, that, that would have been great a couple of days ago maybe, but uh, it, it's also so beautiful. You see it's people so displaying beautiful, it in its raw form. And it's cut into all different types of way, but mm -hmm. now it's actually used for addictions. Oh, interesting. In addition in what way? to, well, so people that are fighting addiction, so like alcoholism, mm -hmm. drug abuse, uh, they'll carry that stone with them, and it, they feel that it gives them a little bit more confidence to oh, kind of stop. Interesting. To fight that urge. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. What have we got next? Next, we have selenite. So selenite is a stone that's not not as common as as all the others, but mm -hmm. this is a stone of peace and tranquility. So when I'm doing acupuncture, if I have a patient that's very nervous about mm -hmm. the needles, I might ask them to hold on to this. Interesting. Or I might okay. put this stone just on their heart and it just calms them down very quickly. Interesting. And so to have it into uh, also another frenetic house, mm -hmm. this is a good stone to have around. Ah, I see. Okay. And then what have we got here? This is beautiful. I love the, the combination of colors here. So this is fluorite. This is rainbow fluorite. And fluorite is known as the emotional healer which is why they'll carve it into what are called worry stones. Okay. And so if you're worried, if you're nervous, you're just gonna be rubbing onto the stone mm -hmm. and then your anxiety will subside a little nice. bit. Uh, lastly, we have carnelian. Carnelian is a grounding stone. So okay. if you're way up into the into space, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> a little bit into your head, yeah. this stone will kind of bring you back into your body. All right. You know, we were also talking about how they have a huge uh, gemstone show in Tucson every year and it's coming up real quickly here. It sure is. I mean, we've got great gem stores uh, in Phoenix, in Sedona, of course, uh -huh. and then we have this annual event that happens in Tucson. Uh, Dr. La Madrid, if folks want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? At lamadrid.com. All right, very good. Thanks for the interesting information for Thanks. the new year. Yeah, of course.